Hello friends, in this video we will learn about inline functions. To define a function we have two methods. One is by use of script file and another one is use of inbuilt function inline. Basically inline the method of uh, defining user defined function by inline method is a very quicker one and it is generally used for uh, simple functions like this x, x square multiplied by cos function cos of x so to define a x square into cos x function in this command line we will use uh, this syntax here f will be assigned a function of f will be assigned a this function x square into cos x by use of this inline function so writing this press enter here it will show the result here that f of f of x is equal to x square into cos x here in workspace we can see that uh, there is one variable name as a uh, f which has class inline and value one by one inline this is a uh, this variable here it is shown as variable a, but it is actually a function it uh, matlab stores function as a variable so to find the value of that function at any point we have to simply write f into bracket the value of variable x and press enter here we got the answer this is simple one here we we can see that this is for only scalar value but what if we want to find the value of this function for uh, array x that means x is equal to say 1 to 10 so to find the value of that function we have to modify the function here first write f then press upper arrow key we 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 will go sequentially upward by pressing arrow key now to change this syntax enter here dot here also dot it will it will convert easy as a array so it is now become a non-scalar now press f into bracket array x and press enter here we have got the value of f at various values of x now we can use this function f to find its zero by using inbuilt function f0 write f and here we can write initial guess it takes some time to calculate and here we got the answer 1.5708 we can which we can easily identify as a pi by 2 it gives value in uh, here default mode of calculation is in radian now check this now check this Press F into bracket answer. Here we can see that in workspace there is one variable name as the answer and its value is 1.57. So the latest answer whenever we enter any function with an input argument is stored in an answer variable. So if we uh, write any variable on the command window as the answer or give it as a input argument then it will take the value of uh, take the value of this which is present in workspace so press enter here we can see that the value of f at 1.5108 is, is equal to 1.5108 multiplied by 10 to minus 8 which is approximately 0 here if we want to use this variable sorry this function f as a input argument to other function 
then also we can do that let's find sine of f of 5 here we can do that now what if we want to construct a inline function of two variable so we have to simply just write uh, let's give it name z is equal to inline into bracket x plus y cube here the, the doubt that must rise in our mind is how it will identify that uh, which variable what is the sequence of variable which will be specified in the function here it has uh, defined in this way now write this there into bracket 2 3 now question must arise in our mind that uh, what is 2 and what is 3 how MATLAB will identify that what is the value of x and what is the value of y for that first uh, MATLAB is inbuilt uh, uh, algorithm in which it identifies what comes first if we are writing x and y then MATLAB will identify x as a first variable that means this variable and y variable as a second variable so we are specifying in this way then it will assign x value to the sorry 2 value to the x and 3 value to the y so pressing this we got 29 that means cube of 3 is 27 plus x that means 2 so it got so it gave 29 value so that's here the similar properties are applicable to the similar properties are applicable to this function also which was in variable function of variable of only one variable thank you for watching